Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you how to make Rolly from Puppy Dog Pals out of gum paste. Now just like before, if you guys see anything that I'm using that you need, if you check the description below, you'll find links with my commonly used tools and supplies. All right, to make our Rolly, I started with some very light brown gum paste and I made a Tic Tac out of it, just a big old Tic Tac. I ran a lollipop stick through it and that on the one end right there and that's gonna support his head. His head is big, it's gonna need help, okay? Now I am making his tail. I roll it out a piece in my hand so it's skinnier on one end and curl it up like a snail shell, basically. Plop it on his butt with a little bit of water, there you go. This is how I made his legs. I'm gonna make him laying down because his body is so enormous and his head is so enormous that standing on those little tiny legs is not really feasible. So I'm making him laying down. I'm making this front paw. You can see I have it bent at a 90 degree angle. I trim off the one end there because that's gonna go up where his shoulder is. And the paws are gonna be going in front of his body, kind of like a cat, but facing each other, see? So I use my knife to make little toe imprints. And that's how the front paws are gonna sit. This is gonna be a back leg. I took the same kind of a style, made a letter L out of it, but then I flattened it to kind of give him a haunch sort of idea. I trim it off, because otherwise it'd be too fat against his body. And then I'm gonna put two little prints with my knife blade to make his little toes. And I've mentioned this in videos before. I don't know why, but three toes on animals is like the magic cutie number for little kids and stuff. It just makes it cuter. So there you go, you got rounded off and flattened and three little toes. Stick it on the body, just as you see I did there with gum paste and you're ready to go. All right, here comes this big old melon. Start with a ball, make it nice and round. I'm using my ball tool and I'm sticking it in about halfway. It, they have very large eyes, it dominates their face. Stick them in halfway and lift up. He's got, he and his buddy Bingo have very expressive eyes and very expressive eyebrows and a lot to it. So I'm making them a little uneven. I'm making them very, very big, <laughs> lifting them up a lot, very exaggerated. So this looks kind of like, honestly, when I made Jack Skellington, it was that kind of idea too. Or if you're making a frog, you know, a cartoony looking frog, anything big round eyes, very expressive. So there you go. Now a little bit of water, shove it down on that stick. That enormous head is why we needed that stick. I may have mentioned that. And there you go. His head is really big compared to the, his body. It's not quite the same size, but it's pretty enormous. So make sure you have a good size noggin on there when you're going to make him. I'm just kind of smoothing off the edges, rounding him off, and there you go. He's just got this enormous gaping eyed head. I am now filling the eyes with white gum paste. I just took a big ball, rolled it out, and stuck it in there. You want them to fit inside the eye socket, but you don't want them to be bulging out. These are pugs, and I suppose technically they should be rather bulgy, but I was looking at the cartoons and they really don't stick out that far. They're just very, very big. Now, Rolly has blue eyes, as you guys, I'm sure, are well aware, having sat through lots of the episodes. And I put a very flat piece of blue on there, and I'm using my ball tool to just smooth out the edges to blend it in, because otherwise on the left eye you can see it's got like a ridge, because it's a straight cut. By doing this, it smooths it down and just blends it into the eye and makes it look a little nicer. All right, now I'm jumping into the muzzle. I kind of jump around a little bit with this guy. I took dark brown, darker brown, and basically made a pair of lips. <laughs> you want them to extend so they go beneath each of his eyes, you see? And the bottom of his mouth or his muzzle is gonna go down almost to his chin. I'm using a veining tool to kind of make his smile exaggerated. I press two lines, kind of push it out to the side, and then a line down the middle for his little snoot. And then I'm making a very nice little smile because he's a happy puppy and it's meeting in the center because he is a happy puppy. He and his buddy get into lots of mischief with their, their buddy Bob. They love Bob. I watched that episode to uh, make, this bit, make this video for my references because my kids are too old for these shows and it's kind of sad because they're very cute and sweet. But anyway, so there you go. Once you get the smile on there, just press it into place. Like I said, make sure the muzzle follows underneath the eyes and goes almost to the end of the eyes. And yeah, that's it. Just make sure it sticks in there. Putting the pupils on now. These guys have really big pupils. They don't fill up all of the iris, but they fill up a lot. They are very alert and aware. They've had their coffee and a good night's sleep and they are feeling the full effects of it, I guess. 
So Rolly is very alert, very perky. I rolled out the black nice and thin, two circles just like before. Put it on, smooth the edges, and now I'm making his nose. It's just a little triangle of gum paste of black again. That I just shaped with my fingers and put it into place right there at the top. Their noses are small, so don't go crazy with them. This dark brown is going to be his ears. All right, so I rolled out a strip kind of like a hot dog and then flattened it and made the sides nice and straight so it's nice and round on each end, straight on the sides, cut it in half. And you're going to bend the ears almost like a quarter or a third of the way down. They bend very high up and then have a lot drooping. A little bit of water and stick them in place and then they're going to slowly fall off. But we'll address that in a few minutes. <laughs> I realized that afterwards I was so focused on other stuff I didn't realize. I'm like, oh my gosh, the ears. All right, we're going to do his collar. They're very special collars that Bob made for them. Okay, so here is Rolly's nice piece of red. Rolled out nice and thin. No problems here. Wrap it around his neck. I'm sure you're with me so far. It looks kind of like a scarf, but that's okay. Just cut it right down the center. And voila, the two ends meet up perfectly. It's like magic. Did you see that? All right, now to finish off the collar, we're going to put the little bone on there. It is yellow and a bright yellow. They're like lit up, but I, of course, can't do that. So I'm just using a nice bright yellow color. I made a long, thin rectangle. I made two little lines kind of indenting on each side and then connect it, you know, trim it out. So you're basically taking a little wedge out of the center, but leave the ends nice and fat and round. I'm trimming off the corners a little bit and then I'm using my veining tool to press in the center on the ends. And oh, what did I make? A bone. There you go. Yes. I am putting it on the side of the collar a little bit just because I felt like if it was completely under his chin, you wouldn't see it as well. So you get it into place and there you go. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. So there's not a lot going on with him, but he just takes a little bit of time. And of course, a little white highlight just finishes him off. So there you are. Yeah. And you're like, hey, Jen, what about those ears? They're falling off his head. Yes, they are. So what you're going to do, take a piece of paper towel like that and fold it in half so that it opens up at the bottom and that will support it. That is just all it needed. It was enough that it held the ear in place, didn't make him fall. And there you go, you got your Rolly. Well now, hopefully you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe, that would be helpful for me. And I'm going to be having his buddy Bingo coming out pretty soon, probably next week. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.